Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Good evening. Uh, yeah, I'm telling you, I'm feeling, I, am, I, I, I feel drained. I feel bad. I am worried. I don't know where we are going as a country. Really, I don't know where we are going as a country. What is happening in our country, honestly? You people, surely, how can we have a situation where people are being arrested like locusts? Every day, every day, we must have, we must be reporting about this one has been arrested, this one has been arrested. <sighs> no, this is too much. This is not good, Mwerand. Please, please, those of you who are in government, I know this is not the police. Me, I know. This is not the police. This is not the police. This is a political witch hunt from the UPND government. The UPND government wants to make sure that the PF and those especially around President Ed Galungu suffer. This is just, this is just not, it's just not right, my friend. It is not right, please. How much are we going to complain? How much are we going to cry before you could hear us and spare us? We are now living in fear. At any point, you are scared you'll be arrested. Even when you are moving around, with your family, you are scared you might be arrested. Because now, what the, the, the modus operandi of the police, it seems, is to track you using the phone and just come and pick you up. This is what they are doing now. They are not, they are not sending call outs. They will just follow you up and just fish you out and take you to a location where you can't even be traced. Emmanuel Mwamba apparently was cornered by a, you know a car wash in Woodlands, somewhere in Woodlands. I don't know exactly where, but I've been told that he was uh, cornered at a car park, at a car wash, um some police officers i don't know i i, I don't like to uh, you know speak something that i'm not convinced about but i'm told he was roughed up grabbed his phone switched them off and then taken apparently at uh, four headquarters but this de these details are not even uh, confirmed because as i'm speaking the wife is at four headquarters together with the, some other family members. All they want to uh, to know is where they are detaining him. That's all. They just want to see him to see that he's okay, and then you know other things will follow up. But they haven't located him. I'm talking. I'm at home. I was just called by family members that they are looking for him they haven't been able to locate him i heard earlier that he has been arrested but i mean i didn't get the details but now the details that i'm getting is that the family members including the wife they are looking for him they just want to see him and know where they are going to take him but no one is giving those details now like I say, it is not that uh, we were saying that uh, 
uh, people should not be arrested when they have committed any offense. No, we are not saying that. All we are crying for is can we do things in the right manner? That's all we are crying for. Can we operate within the confines of the law? Like President Akainde HDM has been saying. Investigate the cases. When you arrest a person, send them a call out. Let them come to the police. If you are detaining them, let people know where you are detaining him. And we have a right each time that you are taken before they detain you. We have a right to uh, to call somebody, to call at least family members, to let them know where they where you are. The police are not supposed to detain people in secrecy. This is not a Gestapo kind of uh, government where people just disappear, where people are just kidnapped. No, that's not the way it's supposed to be. If indeed Emmanuel Mamba has committed a crime, we are not shielding him from prosecution. All we are saying is that please do things in the right manner. Emmanuel Mamba has got lawyers. Emmanuel Mamba, I mean, is somebody that he, uh, cannot run away. I mean, you can easily access him. Why not call him up to the police? Not uh, what we are hearing, where you just corner a person at a car wash, leaving the car there, and you bundle him out, and you take him where people can't, don't even know, where even the wife don't even know. No, no, this is not right, surely. This is not right, my brothers and sisters. It's not right. It's not right. Let us, let us feel, let us have compassion for one another. Let us have compassion for one another. We are all human beings. We are brothers and sisters. We are part of this country. Why are we creating, why are we sowing this, this, this uh, seed of hatred, this seed of division? I am really, really sad in the manner that things are really happening because we are talking about Emmanuel Mwamba. Andy is still inside. Thomas Piri is still inside. Zuma Nizimba is still inside. And all these people, if you look at the way they have been detained, is not the right way. And this is why I'm questioning to say, where are the human rights? Where are the human rights to pronounce themselves on this? Things have gotten worse. This is not how things were. This is not how things were. Yes, some of us who were being arrested, even President Daka in the was being arrested. But this is not the way things were being done by those that uh, we thought they were worse. This is worse than what we had. Frankly speaking, I am just I'm messed up. I feel very bad. I feel very, very bad with what is happening in this country. I feel like crying. I feel like, I mean, can, can, can you stay in this country? How safe are we? How safe are we? We are scared now to be moving about. Even when you are in the house, you are wondering, am I going to wake up tomorrow morning? No, this is not right. This is not right. Uh, trust me, this is not okay. This is not okay. This is not how we should live. This is not how we should live. We can do better. We can have compassion for one another. Anyway, I just wanted to let you know, to give you this update. Chris Zuman Zimba remains inside. We have been told, um, I've gotten a report that he, the judgment will come out on on Friday. Meanwhile, he remains inside. Um, Andy Ruchinde is still inside. Thomas Piri is still inside. Of course, Chris Zuma and Zimba is together with others, and one of whom is a nephew to President, uh, to former President uh, Edgar Lungo. Ah, how oh, Mandini! It's sad. It's really, really sad, Mandini. Me, I feel bad. I feel bad. I never thought. To, 
our country would get to this extent. This, this is just not right. Anyway, I'm leaving it there for now. May God help us. May God bless us. May God bless Zambia. May God give direction to this country. May God come into the hearts of those who are leading us so that they can start looking at us as human beings, looking at us as people with families. A man or Mamba has got a family. A man or Mamba has got a wife, has got children. And tonight they are not going to sleep. They are not going to see him. They might not even know where he is. This is not right. Anyway, good night for now. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Savage. All right, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutati Mpondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.